family welcome back to i love me 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 today i wanted to talk to you about the five first dates questions you should be asking as well as the formula to all of this so stay tuned <laughs> All right, so welcome back. First of all, let me just say, if this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 and you have yet to hit the red subscribe button, make sure that you do that in order to hear more video content like this. And if you are enjoying what I am putting out there, especially just to let me know and others know that you are liking and feeling what I'm saying, give me a thumbs up. Now to move on. So before I give you the first five questions for your um, first date, let me go ahead and give you the formula. So the formula to any of your first couple of dates, I would say up to at least five, maybe shorter depending on, depending on this. And this is what your deal breaker questions are. So if you do not know what your deal breakers are, you need to think about that and then come up with questions so you can ask. And um, the formula is for you not to ask all of your deal breakers on the first date or the second date or the third date. You want to break them up. And so the date is not feeling so super form, uh, form, formal. <laughs> Can't speak. So the date is not um, seeming so formal. You want to break these questions up, okay? But you also are collecting information for yourself and you're also trying to have fun. So you don't want it to seem so formula or like, okay, that one has done the checklist. That one has done the checklist. But you do want to have a purpose for dating. That way you can increase your chances of success. So that is the formula. Now, these are the five questions that I'm going to give you give you if they do not apply to your life uh, or if you just feel like you want to change them up feel free to do so so i'm going to give you two fluff questions as i like to call them fluff questions and then three of your deal breaker or the more serious questions so the first fluff question that i have now let me just back up and say that go with the mood if the mood if the mood is a little bit more serious then go ahead and get off the serious questions or your deal breaker questions first if the mood is very fluffy kind of um happy go lucky you guys are having a wonderful time to go ahead and say the fluffy questions first so go with the mood so the very first fluff question that i have for you is what is your favorite color and what do you like about this favorite color um, again, you are collecting information. All of these questions are relevant. You just don't want, like I said, to seem super serious right off the bat where you don't like to have any fun. It's all about a checklist um, that you have a destination uh, uh, or, uh, or an agenda. Even though most of us do, you don't want it to come off like I have an agenda. Okay, you know, I need to see if you check this. Okay, you check that box. Okay, you check that box. You, nobody wants to feel like they aren't an interview when it comes time to date. All right, so what is your favorite color? What do you like about that color? Number two, if you could meet any celebrity, who would it be and why? Why that celebrity? Again, another fluffy, fun question, but you can get to see who your potential partner is liking. Now, be prepared. Let me just throw this in there. Be prepared that the questions you are asking your date more than likely is going to, you know, instead of using their brain, they're going to be like, you know, well, what about you? Well, what, what celebrity do you like and why? So just be, be, be prepared to answer these exact same questions. The third question is moving on to more of the serious questions. And it is, have you found your person, perp, have you found your purpose or are you working towards your purpose or on your purpose already? And that way you can understand a little bit more about your partner and or potential, uh, I'm sorry, learn more about your date or potential partner. So what's the purpose? Are they working on it? Number four is how many children would you like to have ideally? Now, this applies if you do or do not want children. Because if you don't want children and they do want children, then you know that you can kind of cut that one out. And then vice versa, right? So that one is relevant even on both ends. And then the very last question is, especially if you are looking to do this thing long term and make it turn into marriage. You want to see where they are, where their mindset is as far as marriage. So the actual question is, how important is married life and family life to you and why? And then you can just listen, right? So these are the five questions that you could potentially use. Like I said, the formula is the fluff questions as well as your deal breakers thrown in there. Break them up over the date so you can get the information that you need as well as have fun as well as learn some information about your partner. So now, depending on when you're watching this video, the second video will be released um, a few days after this. And then, um, again, if, you, if you're watching this months or even years later, then go ahead and click on the second one of this video. If I do not have it up, like up here somewhere, I'm sorry, on this side. If I do not have it up here somewhere, then it will be in the description box below. 
I will see you guys in the future video. Two fingers salute.